How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make stylized text only using nodes and using the internal text inside Blender. So this is the thumbnail for the tutorial. You can get these three files uh, in the description for a dollar. If you're on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, there's tons of exclusive tutorials, assets, project files, tons of cool stuff. You can go check that out in the description, but the guys on Patreon, you'll be getting this. All this is nodes, procedural stuff. So let's get into how to uh, make this stuff. So just quickly looking at this file, uh, the lighting is just a simple HDRI that I got from HDRI Haven. So nothing special here with the lighting, but I'm gonna show you how to make uh, these things right here. So let's go ahead and get a new file. And uh, yeah, so we'll just clear everything out here and let's go ahead and get some text. So you don't need to import any fonts, which I would recommend just using the default one because uh, it makes things very easy when it comes to displacing them. So let's get into the text options here. If you hit tab, you can actually put in the text. So I'm just gonna go with a capital A, just like that. And here in the paragraph alignment, I'm just gonna go with center. So we have them right here. You can scale them up maybe to there, control A and apply scale. Now let's go to the geometry section and we're gonna extrude it out to however, however thick you'd like it. Uh, you'd want it to be pretty thick. And then to get the uh, roundness we want, you would go over here to depth and really get a good roundness. Now the reason why you want this to be nice and round is when we go to displacing it, hard edges do not like displacement because it just, it looks really bad. Your topology is gonna be really, really terrible. So I'm gonna put my resolution up here on the bevels so it's nice. And I think we can keep it right about here. This looks good. You'll hit F3 and type in convert. You'll hit convert to, convert to mesh. And you're gonna get some uh, pretty bad topology. You have n-gons and all that stuff. So we're gonna add the modifier, the, um, remesh modifier and you get this so you're going to click the octree depth until you get it back to where it kind of looked for me it's an octree depth of eight and you'll apply it and then you'll get very dense geometry which is what you want you want it to be very dense that'll make your um, displacements nice and smooth so now let's head over to the node uh, editor which is the shading tab right here and we're going to displace it now keep in mind this is something that only works in cycles you can see the bump mapping happening, but not the displacement unless you're using cycles. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the cycles engine and use one of their built-in HDRIs to light it. And let's go ahead and start doing this. So we're gonna click new and right off the bat, we need to add in a displacement node. So right here, displacement, I'm gonna put it down here just for organization purposes and plug the displacement tab into the displacement tab of the material output. Next thing I'm gonna to do to actually make this work is go back to the shader, go into here to settings and change it from bump only to displacement and bump. And now you can see our A gets uh, crazy. So we need to give it a texture. So first to crunch the texture behind it if you want to, depending on what texture we use, we're gonna get a color ramp and we're gonna plug the color ramp into scale and we'll have height and mid-level to play with. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a magic texture for this. Uh, the magic texture always looks cool. So right here, magic texture, plug the color into the color ramp. And if you have the uh, node wrangler add-on enabled, the uh, node wrangler add-on enabled, I said that really fast, hit control T, get that texture set up and go from generated to the object output and plug that into the vector. So now you get a crazy amount of displacement. That's when you go over here and play with the mid-level. Now I'm gonna hold down uh, shift so I get a smooth, slow change, uh, just like this. And we're gonna play with that mid-level till we like it. And now we have a very unique, nice shader. Um, and then we can go ahead and change in the color. Say I want a nice pink maybe, light pink. And you have a cool displacement, very unique A. Now this works with any texture in Blender, including texture combinations. So we're gonna go with Voronoi right here and just show you how it works again. And if you get the project files, you can see the uh, combinations and the color combinations that I used. So you can see the Voronoi working. You can hit that mid-level and make it go crazy. So just like that. And if you want to invert that color, you can flip color ramp and now it goes in like that. Now this looks terrible. You'd actually go in and play with that mid-level till you like it. Uh, another thing that's really cool is the wave texture. Now the uh, initial textures that come with Blender look really great for stylized text. They look just good um, for design, all that stuff. And here you go, you have a wave texture and you can maybe uh, play with the uh, distortion Get, get a little bit more fun in your uh, displacements and then you can bring up that displacement a little bit so you can get a more unique look. And all this stuff works. You could say, I wanna add a Musgrave 
to this wave texture to get a different uh, thing. So let's say give it a scale of one, and now you get this crazy texture. Now one thing I like to do in this one is you take the detail and bring it down. And when you do that, bring that detail down, you start to get a really cool pattern on your letter. Now you can see how the uh, displacement, you can start to see those vertices. All you have to do is go ahead, add a modifier, subdivision surface, and uh, that'll smooth everything out, add some more vertices. And now you have a nice, smooth, really cool stylized A. And then the last thing you can do, say if you want two colors to work in this, go ahead, add in a color ramp, and say I want uh, a light blue, and I want a light pink to interact here in this, uh, this letter here. So I'm gonna plug the color into the color ramp, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is take this wave texture, plug that into the factor of the color ramp, and now you have two colors playing around, and you can move these sliders to get different things going on. And that's how you make stylized text in Blender. It's really fun, it's really easy. You uh, just have to deal with cycles and a lot of topology. And yeah, it's super fun. There you go, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.